by thanking Karen and uh, Glenn for making the house available for today. And uh, thank oh, everybody for coming and enjoy our traditional Christmas day. Okay, yeah. Well done. Thank you, yeah. And thank you, Which has become more widely known about since Wendy I rang up Wendy rang up the local radio station and made it. When was this? Great one yesterday. That's not the right one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of good ones from the 25th. When was this? <laughs> yesterday. yesterday. Oh, they were buddy. after Christmas traditions. Or what people oh, did for Christmas Day. Don't no, everybody sit around like this and... No. Yes, but hang on. There was no. other things. People usually get up in the morning and open presents, but... It was the rest of the it, day. It was the, the breakfast at 11, yes. Yeah, alright. Yes, yes. Talked about poison balls. Traditional Christmas day. Um, yeah. Bob won't be the same. Have you wet yourself or just drop oh, oh, the yeah, coffee? Oh, yeah, the coffee. Oh, oh, he's the son of the great shots of poison ball where Dan, Dan is running full power. Like, he's seeing ball. all the action and the ball's right square he's in front of him. He's about to step on He's about to trip over. It's hilarious. Absolutely. And, like, you can see the sweat, you know, plastered to his head. There's a lot of effort going into this and it's... And he does still fail. Oh, what Wendy didn't do was she rang the radio station when they were talking about this, anyhow, and told them that we all get up and nobody's allowed anyone near the presents until 7 o'clock. Everybody's going to have coffee. coffee. And explained how we hand out all the presents and everything, that we do the Kris Kringle and all that. Uh, then we have a traditional breakfast, normally at about 11 o'clock, with bacon and eggs so and running all the trimmings. No, me. And then we, we normally don't have, have Christmas flash. lunch. Until around about three or four o'clock in the four, afternoon. Four thirty-five, I said. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't mention the food fight. And, I didn't uh, mention the food fight. Basically, no, what, what we do no, on Christmas no. Day, and then apparently the radio station had quite a few calls. Uh, what a magnificent way to spend Christmas. Yes. So that's basically what it was all about. They were uh, very. Th they thought it was a much more relaxed way to go. Yeah, we know about. food fight yeah. here, Doug. Do you understand that? Yeah. I'm going to work, love. Yeah, you'll be in charge of them. You'll have. Uh, You're the one that needs to You'll have the authority of the house then, so. Well, Jason's not here, so that's a 50% start. <laughs> <laughs> I put it up behind you, so you'll be here by lunchtime. Well, you're the only one, one that needs to be controlled. Yeah, just put it up. No, no, it, well, it was sort of on a little bit of an <laughs> angle. Can I have it? Ellie's <laughs> ready for her present. <laughs> that's the wrong one. Yeah, I'm having mine. So you can get past the dance then. Well, go on 7 o'clock, Katie, go for it. I can't see the clock. Just throw them. No, don't. Yeah, a few breakables. She's not going to throw it. 